And now, Quiplash 3! Quips never die. I'm Schmitty, and if I don't recognize you from earlier games, it's only because I don't care. And if you didn't make it in the game, don't pout about it. Jump in the audience and get your revenge. I mean, vote. <laughs> Round 1 is upon us. I'm going to flash two prompts on your device. Type something ingenious that will stand up against another player's response. Then everyone will vote for their fave and one of you will get an ego boost. Oh yes, points. You score points based on the percentage of voters who like your answers. Clear enough? Sure hope so. Let's go. And the room code is J-D-T-E.
Wait, what? We're live? <clears throat> Welcome to Quiplash 3, The Legend of Schmitty's Gold. I'm your host, Schmitty. And does anybody here have the other half of this amulet? No? Checking? No? Well, my quest continues. Let's kick it off with round one. Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer, so make them count. Let's make some noise. Up to bat, we have a gift your stepdad really tried his best on, so be nice. All right, vote. Right along, the strangest clickbait headline, Hot Blank, are in your area. And now, pick your favorite. And next is... Doctors say blank is not addictive, but you're hooked. Okay, choose your favorite. Okay, what's next? You know it's a party when someone shows up with blank. And now it's time to vote for your favorite. Let's keep it going. First was the bro hug, now bros are doing blank. Time to pick the one you like best. And next, look, kids, if you can't agree on a name for that hamster, we're just going to call it Blank. Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. That's a wrap on round one. Let's see those scores. I see round two in your future, where points will be doubled and stakes will be higher.
You're almost out of time. Don't forget your safety quip. And that's a wrap. All right, let's begin. Kicking things off. Good news, there's cake in the break room. Bad news, it says blank. Pick a winner. Next we have... This player's dream house comes pre-stocked with blank. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Next on the docket, the first sign you are watching a very artsy horror film. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. Next up. The hottest Christmas gift in 1910. All right, choose your favorite. Let's see how they handle the opposite of music. Wow, enjoy the freebie. Next, all the jesters have failed. Only one thing will entertain the king. At least one of you did the work. Enjoy some points. Was round two as good for you as it was for me? Let's find out. Step right up to Riplash. A final round stuffed to the gills with points. I'll be sending each of you a prompt that needs three separate responses. That's triple the ha-ha's. Tick-tock, time's almost up. Okay, it's thrip time. 
three ways of perking yourself up when coffee isn't enough. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. It's not your worst nightmare until there's blank, blank, and finally blank. All right, people, it's voting time. Three Zoom backgrounds nobody's asking for. All right, vote for the one you like best. I guess this is really happening. Let's see the final scores. Congratulations, fellow demons. You and your family have been selected to take part in our groundbreaking demon-human relations program. You'll be living among the humans and taking part in the pointless and highly stressful rituals of mortal life. Although why you'd want to is beyond me. Hurry up, everyone! I refuse to be late for my fiddle contest.
The office downstairs wishes me to inform you that you each have a family role, parent, teen, or child. That role will affect how you interact with your fellow family members, so take note of it. And if you want to shake things up, use your device to change your look. Time to get moving. As your assigned demon relocation specialist, it's my job to walk you through the many shades of daily mediocrity that make up the human experience. Should we start with the orientation? If this is your first day above ground, I... Excellent. You're going to see a list of tasks appear on your device. You know, mow the lawn, muck out the gutters, stand in the garage and sigh. These are normal chores humans do every day. No one knows why. Complete these tasks and you'll earn points for the family score. Keeping the family score high is your number one priority. If you end the week with a low family score, you'll get a failing grade. And the boss downstairs will not be happy with you. Or me. I suggest you work together to do as many tasks as possible. Some tasks require teamwork, so don't be afraid to yell when you need a hand. But there's also a prize for the individual that earns the most points. They'll be rewarded with a human-style trophy to lord over the rest of the family, the coveted World's Bestest Devil Mug. Last thing, tasks with this symbol are selfish tasks. They don't help the family at all, and doing too many causes an emergency that can be catastrophic to the family score. However, they're worth a ton of points to those devilish enough to get away with them. Just saying. Got all that? Good! Now, let's see today's human challenge. Sleepover and out. The family's youngest child is hosting their first sleepover. Can they manage the pure anarchy of eight children with the cover of darkness? This is an overnight challenge, so we'll be back in the morning to see how you did. That's your challenge for the week. Tasks related to the challenge look like this. They're worth more points, and doing all of them is the only way to get a perfect grade, so don't screw them up. Did I mention the family cat is possessed with the souls of everyone in the audience? If the audience works together, they can cause some mischief for the family. Brace yourselves, day one begins now. A highly valuable challenge task has just appeared. Remember to do all of them to get the best rating. A member of the family is asking for help with a task. If you need someone older or younger to help with the task, let your fellow family members know. A challenge task is now on the list. Don't miss it. Well, well, looks like someone's being selfish. When you hear this sound, that means one of the family has given in to their devilish nature. A task to stop them will appear on your device, but you have to act fast. Acting selfish fills the meter eventually leading to a family emergency. But it's worth a bunch of points, if you can stay under the radar.
Just a heads up. The day's half done and you need to get your family score past the goal line. Work together to finish as many high scoring tasks as you can before time runs out. A new human challenge task has just appeared. Time's almost up. It's now or never, family. Another selfish act has begun. If I were you, I'd grab the task to stop it, or just publicly shame the perpetrator. As my study of mortals has taught me, a little guilt goes a long way. You do know that sound means someone's being selfish. Another day done. Take a load off while we review your score. Here's today's family score. You failed to reach the daily goal, which means more paperwork for me and a strongly worded letter for you. As the saying goes, hell is for children. We shouldn't be surprised that hosting eight was more than even the most durable devil could handle. Not only are the other parents suspicious of how sleep deprived their kids are, they could have sworn they were much less possessed by evil when they dropped them off. We are disappointed to report that you failed this human challenge. It happens to the worst of us. Let's try that again. A task for this week's challenge just appeared.
I hate to interrupt, but the day's half done, and you need to get your family score past this threshold. Work together to finish as many high-scoring tasks as you can before time runs out. The day's nearly done. Better finish what you're working on. Another day in the books. Let's see how you're doing. Here's your family score. Did I forget to tell you to do better than last time? I thought that was implied. As the saying goes, hell is for children. We shouldn't be surprised.
to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up. In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set. Off we go. Seconds remain, players need to name their character. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold.
It's time to name those characters. It's time for the main event. Here comes our first opponents. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of living off the grid. More like a world chump. I'm just saying. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. You have zero bandwidth. In this corner, we've got... We'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is... The champion of flavor blasting. Can they recover? I don't know. them will be one of them will be crowned the champion of thirst traps unbelievable Parched. Next up, it'll be versus these two are facing off to see who is the champion of innuendo. Bam, right in the face. The ref just needs to call me. We did know what you mean. Moving on, we've got... Versus... One of them will walk out as... The champion of high school! Class ring. Here are the scores as we head into halftime.
20 second warning. Name those characters. Name those characters. It's the second half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each matchup will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled and votes for both contests will be cumulative. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. You will decide who is the champion of tyrants. Mayhem down in the draw ring. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of jaywalking. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? This has become a one-sided match. Two new fighters enter the ring. One of them will be the champion of school photos. Kapow, that's gotta hurt. It's the Clash of the Titans. We'll declare a winner after this next match. The champion of thirst traps. The trainers have a decision to make. The tides are turning. What a stud! our next matchup. Who is the champion of immaturity? Oh, it's getting 
getting lopsided. This might be over. This next contest could swing things. A champion of punchable faces. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. Holy smokes, I didn't see that coming. It's time for our next bout. You will decide who is the champion of magical creatures. What a whack attack! It all comes down to this next match. The champion of undercover spies. What will the trainers do? Let's see. Oof, what a nasty uppercut. A solo victory. What a feat. Here are the next two fighters. One of them will be the champion of Perky. Will they be able to maintain this lead? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Now they'll be battling for this title. The champion of About to Snap. It's decision time. The kid gloves are off now. The me versus the world mentality certainly paid off. Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores, and... We have a winner! to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up. In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and next.
It's time to name those characters. The trainers are now moving on to... Second warning, name those characters. It's time for the main event. Here comes our first brave warrior. Versus, only one of them can be the champion of cult leaders. Oh, what a huge blow can they counter. Oof, what a nasty uppercut. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. They have a compelling argument. Make way for versus. These two are competing to be the champion of the Midwest. on the receiving end of that blow. The ref just needs to call it. That's a win, you betcha. Here's our next competitor. Versus one of them will walk out as the champion of chaos. The tides are turning. In this corner, we've got these two will battle to see who is 
the champion of Imagination Land. Bam, right in the face. What a sketchy move. Next, they'll be facing off against. We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of being a little stinker. Oh, it's getting lopsided. It's getting ugly. to turn out. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores. Name those characters!
welcome to Talking Points. What an exciting lineup. Let's do this. First, you're going to create original speech titles for each other. On your devices, finish the three speech titles you've been given. Fill in the blanks with something interesting. The weirder, the better. all of the titles. There's more than one. Okay, yes! Now, pick one of the titles that has been sent to your device. This will be the title of your presentation. Okay, good! You will be the first speaker, and you will be their assistant. What exactly are you going to be doing? Excellent question. As the speaker, you will be presented with a series of slides chosen by the assistant. When you see a text slide, read that text out loud as part of your talk, and move on quickly. When you see a picture slide, just say words until something makes sense. Also, you can draw and type on slides. These slides will be picked in real time by the assistant. You should always be busy using your controller to set up the next beat of the speech. You'll see the text and picture options that could follow it. If you don't think the setup text fits the direction of the speech, tap it forward or back to get new options. All speeches will follow this exact structure. Quick personal intro, speech title, picture, text segue, Picture, text segue, picture, thank you. Meanwhile, everyone else reacts to the speech in real time. Points aren't just based on value. How many times you hit the button is just as important. So hit them a lot. That's it. It'll be over before you know it. Assistant, go ahead and start picking that first picture. And speaker, don't forget, you're... Okay, so half of your score comes from how many times people hit the buttons. Up, down, it doesn't matter. And the other half comes from the peaks and the valleys of the graph. The qualitative judgments. 
put it together, and that's your score. And don't forget, the assistant gets points too. While the speech is still fresh in your mind, let's fill out the comment card. Write a quote you remember from the speech or a funny comment about the speech. Let's do it again! Let's tally it all up. We always end with time for the comment card. Okay, it's you.
Go get him. Here's the grass. Don't forget the comment card. The data is coming in. Come 
and hard, comment often. One last bit of prep before the award ceremony. Name the big award you're going to give out. Do me a favor and give it a funny name. Wow, remember all of these incredible speeches? Moment of truth. Each of you has one last big award to give out, and that includes the audience. Choose wisely or randomly, it's up to you. The very serious and important prizes. We got a winner, and honestly, I'm blushing. Thank <laughs> you.